New York City, once the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in the United States, is taking its first steps toward normalcy. The city of 8.6 million people accounts for $1.8 trillion in economic output and entered phase two of reopening this week, allowing outdoor dining, among other activities. Of course, they have been flexible with giving the chance to restaurateurs to be able to put tables in the street and open their restaurants, but it's not the only solution. Manhattan's office towers are allowing a partial return of workers this week, but many firms, including some of Wall Street's largest, have set no deadline for when or if all employees will come back. It's going to be different in different places depending on how you transport yourself into the office and out of the office. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take that step by step. We're going to phase in and we're going to make sure that everybody feels comfortable. Even as New York City starts to reopen, the global economic forecast is gloomy. The IMF downgraded its outlook, projecting GDP to shrink 4.9% this year. Unlike in April, I think this time the risks are somewhat more balanced, which is that we have both an upside risk, which is you could have better news on the medical front, treatments, vaccines. Uh, but on the other hand, you could have worse news too, which is with second waves, financial tightening, trade geopolitical tensions. New York City's progress is overshadowed by a spike in coronavirus cases around the country as new hotspots emerge. We have to assume COVID circulating. It hasn't gone anywhere. We're not done with the first wave, so the more people you're around, the more likely that you will get it. People are getting virus fatigue and they're getting sloppy, and that's resulting in these numbers. With the rate of infection increasing in more than half of the United States, governors are walking back reopening measures. We are going to change and update guidance so that local governments can implement mask and face covering policies and determine enforcement. The Department of Health is going to be launching some public service announcements reminding folks of some of the things that, that, that you can do. Those that suggest we're out of the woods, those that suggest this somehow is going to disappear, uh, these numbers tell a very, very uh, different and sobering story.